Yeah, I always think of my mum when when um, uh, EastEnders was on, and I forget who it was. Somebody left. She said, "My mum's never be the same. It'll never be the same." Right. But of course, two months later, and it, it, somebody else is in there, and it's all back. And okay, so yeah. I'm now the BBC. Okay, Len, what do you need? What do you want? Can we get you a bigger dressing room? Do you need champagne? More money, Len. What do you want? What, we, what can we do to make you stay? There was nothing to do with anything. It was just... I've done 12 years, and I, I just felt this is a good time, you know, to, to hang up my dancing shoes and, and pursue other things if they turn up. You're doing Dancing with the Stars in America? Well, that's because of the contract. I, the BBC, you just sign an annual contract yeah. so they can chuck you out or whatever, or you can leave. But in America, I had to do a two-year contract, so I've done one, so I've got another year on that. To... And, and do you get any say as to who you would like to see take your place? No, I, or... I, 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 I will have no input, because oh, it's do? all down to the producers. However, for me, I, whoever they pick, I'm sure it'll be the right choice, but I would hope it would be somebody that's done ballroom and Latin, because as good as the other three judges are, you know, yeah. Darcy's wonderful, beautiful, lovely critiques yeah. of fluidity and so I love Bruno because of his exuberance and his passion. He's wonderful. What about Cra Craig? Well, Craig's a, a little bit finicky and uh, you need one who's, who's done ballroom and Latin to well, talk about heels and toes. And Darcy said on the radio that you would like it to be former ballroom and Latin dancer Helen Ritchie. Well, I know Helen Ritchie. I haven't seen her for... 40 years. I used to dance against her, and she was an Australian girl with her husband. They lived over here. But no, I, I'm sure I don't, I've never seen her critique anything. She's on the, the Strictly in Australia. And um, I haven't seen her for 40 years, so I, I, who would, how would I know whether mm. she's good, bad, why, or well, Where would that come from with Darcy, then? Why would she pick that? Well, somebody probably... Uh, 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 oh, I know. I know. Do you want to know? Yes. I'm sitting there. There's me, Bruno, um, uh, Craig and Darcy. We're sitting there chatting away and uh, uh, we were chatting about who would take over. And then Bruno said, because Bruno's done the Australian show mm. a few odd weeks, he said, I tell you who's great, Helen Ritchie. So I said, oh, I know Helen Ritchie. Yeah, she's terrific. And that was it. And that's me <laughs> wanting her to... She's in. Then she's in, you know. So, now, I have no clue yeah. at all who it well, will be. Well, your mum was right. Won't be the same. Will you miss it? Listen, I'm sure when I'm sitting at home next series watching it on TV, I'll turn to my old Sue and say, why didn't I do it? Mm. Yeah, I could have done that. You know, so, of course... I'm sure I will miss it. Oh, You've got to know that. when to hold yeah. them and fold them. And for me, this is the time. Well, you're leaving us with a little gift, actually. A couple of little gifts, and we'll get onto the DVD in a minute. But first of all, this is the album. This is a three-part album. And this is like this is like your playlist. Listen, that is... Uh, uh, Sony said to me, would you like to do a CD of all your favourite tracks? I said, lovely, yeah, of course. They said, there's three CDs. Give us one CD, all your favourite men, one CD of all your favourite female singers and one CD, a bit yeah. of both, and some of your... Tony Barrett, Bennett, uh, Nat King Cole, we've got Bette Midler, Julianne, oh, Andrew Sisters, Lo everything on here. It's There's beautiful. a bit of everything. It's like, a, for me, it's a trip down memory lane of all my favourite swooners and crooners. Swooners and crooners. And what about this one, then, the best of Strictly well, Come Dancing? Len's grand finale. I know. Well, the BBC said it would be lovely, uh, you know, you've done 12 years, to, to do a DVD of all your favourite moments, your favourite waltzes, foxtrots, your most fun, fun people. You know, look, it's, it's just some... So lovely, many people you know, have so done... So many fantastic Some of your, your favourite, Series 7, uh, Ricky Whittle's Quick Step was one well, that brilliant. really... brilliant. Ricky Whittle... You know, I've, when I've... The f wonderful thing with Strictly, you don't know what's going to turn up. Bit of swing and sway. I loved him. I was shocked he did. He was my winner, that really? series. Because I just thought he was brilliant. However, the viewers decided that it should be Chris Hollins, which I'm not against because he was a load of fun. But as a dancer, that boy wanted to be. He was your one. Your winner this year. This is what's great this year. Right, because I... I Usually, I've got, I think, well, it should be son. Should it be Louise uh, uh, Redknapp? Yeah. Yeah. Should it? Should it be uh, Danny Mac? Should it be 
Ori? Should it yeah. be Claudia for Agapan? Should it be Jagrinda? It's so close, whoever wins is all right with me mm. because it's just a, such a great series. Poor old Ed. Oh, oh he was, but he was... He learnt so much. He was great, you know. He was so much fun and I bumped into him just before we went in and we were chatting away and uh, I shouldn't have said it really. I said, you know, you've been like a cat with nine lives. Mm. But I said, it's week ten. <laughs> it's time. But he did get better, didn't he? Do you know, the thing is, and it, it's happened so often, I think that us British, we love an underdog. Yeah. yeah. And it would have been an, an, an injustice, yeah. Yeah. you know, if, if, if Danny or one of those had left and no, Ed had stayed. No, I understand stayed. that. Well, we'll Thank see what you, happens. See Thank what you, happens. Len. Lovely yeah. to see you Lovely again. See you, Thank hey. you. Hey. Thank you. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.